What's up, YouTube? Jim Regis 13 here, back with a uh, model airplane review. Now, this is a very, very, very special uh, model we got here. Uh, I put this on the Christmas list. It was one of the one of the two planes I put on here. And this is, uh, as you can see, this is the Lufthansa A340-600. And this plane is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm very keen on the 1-200 to 200 scale. I would have to say they're my favorite scale uh, <coughs> that Gemma just has made. Although, I have a lot more 1-400 to 400 scale models, which there's reasons for that, obviously. But on the side, I've always been collecting a lot of 1-200 to 200 planes. I have mm, maybe about 20 now. And um, this was like... Uh, one of those models, one of those must-have planes that I, I wanted to get eventually. Now I just I just don't like throwing down $115 <laughs> for no reason, but uh, that's why I wanted to get it for Christmas because this is a great present to ask for. Um, this this is definitely my largest model. I mean, I got a triple seven and I got a 330-200, and uh, this is definitely by far the largest plane I have, and my favorite one to 200 so far, probably to be quite honest with you. So. Um, it's been a while since I've done a model airplane review. I, I still have to make the, I haven't even done the Jeppeli 190, 1 to 200 scale, and that came out, I want to say it came out in like April or the, of this year or something, sometime early this year. I still haven't even gotten to that yet, but you know how it is. I don't like to take too much time with these boxes, but this is pretty impressive. I actually got to stand on this right here. But uh, yeah, this is the Gemini 200 box, uh, Lufthansa. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that in German. I am slightly German, but it doesn't make me... Doesn't mean I can speak it, but uh, Tons A34600, November, or I'm sorry, Delta Alpha Indigo Hotel, November registration. Um, I had to look back at my pictures because I was gonna, I wanted to make the intro kind of cool, have like a, you know, like a picture of the real Tonza plane. So, um, so yeah, definitely gonna try to find the registration for that and kind of, you know, if I insert that, if I do insert that, uh, you would have known that I would have found the picture of because we used to get the A34600 on a regular basis and uh not anymore just because of the merger and whatnot but uh yep still a little bit of Christmas wrapping on there and uh yeah, it came out in 2016 I don't remember when it came out I want to say in the summer but I can't honestly I don't honestly remember when it came out uh just for fun I'm gonna grab the 1 to 400 scale uh, A346 this is the Phoenix one I think Jim and I made one but I can't remember so yeah here's the uh <laughs> Just for fun. Oh, such a beautiful... This is the best wide-body plane, in my opinion. I absolutely love the A34600. It's, oh, God, it's a beautiful plane. Four engines, big engines, fuselage is long. Um, some little facts about the plane itself. If I remember correctly, I want to say the 346 seats about 306 people, I want to say. And uh, first-class seats, business class, uh, economy plus. I'm not sure if Lufthansa calls that. I'm not sure. And then just the standard economy seats on this aircraft. Uh, you know, as you can see, four engines, big engines. Try to give us some better views here. Um, one neat thing about Lufthansa, they usually name all their planes. Um, I was, you know, on the box, I already showed you that earlier, but uh, I'll just kind of show it to you on the airplane. So right there, they do name the plane. And, you know, if any, any German friend want to pronounce that, go for it. Uh, uh, I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, I do like what they do about that because on the 380s, um, they name them after cities. Like, there's a 380 that has New York, uh, one has Zurich. Uh, I can't even remember. They, you know, there's Frankfurt, Munich. I think that's pretty cool. So, um, but I have seen A330s that don't have names. So, not all the planes have names, but I want to say it's probably 70% of them got the names. And then, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Shemai Jets out, outdid themselves. I mean, I didn't even know this until I was putting everything together. But in case you didn't know, these are, uh, I want to be careful, I don't want to just drag the plane down, so I'm trying to put the camera like this. Hopefully you can see the plane, but I did not know that these things were magnetized, so I thought that was pretty genius, honestly, because the, uh, I want to say the Southwest in the Airtrain 737 uh, 700 I have, they have it where you can take the landing gears out, but you have to kind of like plug them in and not necessarily snap them in, but... You, you kind of get the picture they're not magnetized and I think that magnetized or that magnet idea is absolutely genius um, I'm very very pleased with that uh, moving down the plane I know we didn't cover this up here but antennas all over the place antenna boxes now I'm not gonna I'm not sure which antenna box is what but I know Lufthansa has TVs on board so one has to be for some satellite TV 
And I'm pretty sure if I remember, Lufthansa does have uh, Wi-Fi over the ocean. So I'm pretty sure one of those are Wi-Fi boxes as well. And some more antennas down here. Registration right there. Big cargo bay right there. Um, oh, yeah. Here's all the landing gears. And they, they do pivot, uh, you know, obviously. So they usually, I remember if they go uh, like this and then like that. And then one's bent up and they're just in, sorry, I'm trying to get this last one, but so, you know, they won't necessarily stay perfectly like that, but you get the picture. It looks pretty dang cool. And then oh, I love this view right here. I'm trying to see if we can make this the thumbnail right here. Let me just try to focus it on the body. There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And, uh, obviously you can see all the emergency exits. Uh, two in the front half of the fuselage, one over the wing, and then two in the back. Uh, just a massive plane. It's unbelievable how large this model is, and obviously it, it serves it right because it's freaking huge in real life. So, um, see if I can get some some work down here. So we already started here, there, but there's uh, another antenna down there, and then same thing for the back landing gears, like the front one. They all pop out like that, very easy. Uh, when I got them in the box, here, let me slide over here so here's the box if anyone was curious um i have no idea what these are i want to say this is for if you want to have the airplane in flight mode that's probably my best guess yeah that's got to be what that is yeah okay um yeah fuselage uh stand was right here very easy to get out just pull by the tail i i get very picky when i'm when i have new planes so i don't like to get all the, the fingerprints on even though it's a, a white fuselage but that's just me being picky. It's an expensive model. <laughs> I want to get it dirty. And uh, so, yeah, uh, just for comparison purposes, I'll go ahead and grab a couple one to 200 scale planes. First, I'll grab a 330. Now, hmm. seeing this brings back memories. <laughs> You'll see why in a second. This is the uh, US Airways A330-200. Mm. I miss these. I, in, in my opinion, US Airways arguably had the best A330 livery. Now, again, in my opinion, the only thing that comes close to that is Aer Lingus and uh, uh, Hawaiian, but honestly, I really believe <laughs> they had the best. Uh, they had the best livery out there. And I'll grab us a. I'll grab us a 737. Oh, even this. Let's let's really get in my emotions, bringing the Airtran back. Mm. Damn. All right, here's Airtran. So just for comparison, you know, if you're curious to see how this matches up to, I'll try to get the camera back even more. So. So yeah, um, I mean, like I said, uh, I had Christmas money. I'm, I'm, I don't like dropping $115 on model airplanes just because I'm in college. I'm not trying to spend money on everything. But <laughs> a part of me really wants to get that A350 that just came out in the 1 to 200 scale. I think that was either last month or this month. I can't even remember. I know it was very recently. Or the A330-300. Now, at Charlotte, like I said, we get the A330-300 currently which is this guy right here. And um, in the summer, now it's not a scheduled plane, but usually for three or four weeks in the summer, we get the 346 every day. So it still pays a visit, but uh, I've been hearing that the 350, since it's based out of Munich, we might be getting the 350 next year. Uh, again, that's not confirmed or anything. That's not on Lufthansa.com. But regardless, the 350 is an absolutely beautiful plane. Probably not, you know, it's too, I haven't seen enough to, I don't, it's never going to take the spot of the 346 in terms of like, uh, I just love this plane. But uh, yeah, I'd just like to get the 350, I have, you know, just for collecting purposes. Even if it doesn't fly to Charlotte, I still like to have that plane. And obviously, if it does fly to Charlotte, you'll be seeing the 1 to 400 scale of that as well. And, and again, the 330 just kind of for Charlotte. Uh, but uh, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to get this back to uh, college. This is just unbelievable. Like, if I put the box up to the terminal, I mean, you can tell how big this is. This, I don't even know. I don't even think I'm going to bring my camera back. I think I'm just going to carry this on. And uh, just a little sneak peek for everybody. My cats, if you're wondering why this looks like a wreck, the cats came up here and they went to town up here. So just for sneak peeks, just for sneak peeks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here, dude. Oh, oh, man. That is, that's stunning. That is stunning. That came out in the summer, but um, again, I'm 
I'm frugal with spending on one to two hundred plants. I usually just wait. I wait till the holidays to ask you for for presents. So, <laughs> so that's what I was waiting for. But uh, I'll stop rambling on and everything. Um, again, it's been a while since I did a review, so I hope I was still in touch with everything. You got the general gist that this is a really good plane. Um, highly, highly detailed. If you've never bought in a one to two hundred scale airplane, uh, please do yourself a favor. Get yourself a one to two hundred scale model. It doesn't matter what plane it is. It's a, just for. I'm trying to find. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, just even if it's as small as the Embraer 145, it doesn't matter what you get. These things are golden. I highly recommend. Doesn't matter. Get them. Just get one. Just treat yourself and buy yourself a one to two hundred scale model from Jim. I guess they outdo themselves every time. I don't have any model that's a flaw. It, they're just perfect. And uh, so, so again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, happy holidays.